Hello everyone, this is Anupma. How are you all? Hope you are doing very well. So today we are going to read a very very motivating book that is Million Dollar Habit. Writer of this book is Brian Tracy. So we'll read about this book first of all and then we'll go to summary. Let's get started. Only one thing separates millionaires from ordinary people that is habits. If you learn, practice and repeat the habits of millionaires, you will become one of them too. In this book, you will know all the habits you need in order to succeed. Who should read this summary? Then to all employees and all small business owners, to anyone who wants to become a millennial, they can read this book. About the author, Brian Tracy is a motivational speaker, a self-help author and CEO. He founded Brian Tracy International in 1984. His company offers training programs, coaching and seminars for individuals and companies. Now we'll start. Now we'll read about this book so we'll start introduction do you want to be a millennial if so you should read this book it is not impossible it is not a hopeless dream many people have done it before you they came from poor families they have little education they have no special skills and yet they have overcome all these challenges and succeeded you can do it too. No matter who you are or where you come from, you can be a millennial. What you need is to learn the habits of millennials. Successful people have good habits while unsuccessful people have bad habits. This book will teach you all the habits you need to practice in order to become a millennial. You are what you do. Think of the most successful people you know. What is it that they have? What makes them a lot more successful than you? You are where you are in life today because of you. Your present is the result of all the actions, choices and decisions that you have made so far. The same decisions will also shape your future. So if you want to become very successful, that is up to you. There is no limit to what you can be except that limit which you impose on yourself. You can take control of your success. It all depends on the thoughts, the words and actions that you have starting from now on. 95% of what you do every day is result of habit. Successful people practice and repeat success habits that is what makes them different. You can start with these habits too. Remember that bad habits can be unlearned and good habits can be learned. George Washington is the first president of the USA. When he was still a teenager, he saw a book entitled The Rules of Civility and Decent Behavior. He wrote down all the 110 rules in his little notebook. Every day he read them and tried to practice them one by one. Because of that book, he developed good habits. He applied those rules every day since he was a teenager. And so when he started a career, career in politics, the good behavior became automatic for him. Practice and repeat. By doing so, you will also have good habits. Where your habits come from? There are 20 billion neurons in your brain. Each of them is connected to 20,000 others. You only use a small fraction of them every day. Imagine how much potential you have right at this very moment. Successful people choose to do more and be more. You can do it too. Do not let yourself be lazy, medicure and bitter in life. So 
don't let yourself to be like busy mediocre and bitter in life you can always change what are the thoughts that fill your mind what do you often think about know that they shape your dis- destiny you attract the things that you always think about if you always think about money and success you will attract the good opportunities that will lead you to it but if you always worry about accidents or sickness it will manifest in your life so choose to have positive thoughts take control get rid of all your negative thoughts once and for all with practice and repetition your mind will get used to thinking only positive thoughts you will become happier and more successful the author brian tracy shared his success story his family is poor his father did not have a stable job brian started working when he was 10 years old he did different kinds of job for the neighbors he mowed lawns rigged dry leaves and delivered newspapers because of this he was able to buy his own food and clothes when he was a teenager he was accepted as a dishwasher in a small hotel he considered himself lucky while scrubbing pots and pans brand decided to drop out of high school and just earn money he worked in lumber lumber factories and construction sites he also worked in ranches and farms at 20 years old he became a salesman Brand knocked on house and went from one office to another selling different kinds of products. He was always one cell away from being a homeless man. One night as he was resting in his boarding house, he thought why is it that there are sales people who make plenty of sales while there are those who cannot sell? Why is it that there are very successful successful people and there are those who are not? The next morning, Brian started a habit that changed in life. It is learning from successful people and applying what he has learned. He took up his courage and asked the number one sales agent in this in his company, "What is the technique you use to always make people buy?" The agent shared it and Brian tried it on his own customers. Just like that, he began to sell lots of products. He also began to read books about selling. He listened to audio lectures and attended sales seminars. Whatever he learned, he made it a point to apply at once. Because of this new habit, Brian's sales went up. He even got promoted. He became a sales manager. Brand shared everything that he learned to his team members and they improved too. The master program of success. This is quite simple. The, there is only one idea that dominates the mind of successful people. It is what they want and how to get it. Every minute of every day successful people think about what they want and how to get it because of this they make the right decisions which take them to their goal unsuccessful people meanwhile think of the opposite they always think about why they do not get what they want in short they, their minds are full of blaming and and complaining who would you rather be it is your choice Here is an example of how powerful your thoughts can be. For example, you make it your goal to earn dollar fifty thousand every year. You think about this amount all the time, and you make yourself productive. Whatever happens to the economy and whatever happens in your office, you will earn that dollar fifty thousand. Now, what if you make it your goal to earn dollar one lakh? you set your mind to it and you commit yourself to achieve it even if you quit your job move to a new place or start your own business you will earn that dollar one lakh imagine how amazing your life can be think of your biggest dream and think about it all the time 
think of how you can get it that is your master program to success the most important habit you need to learn to succeed is self discipline it is the ability to make yourself do what you need to do even if you do not feel like doing it like a muscles your self discipline grows stronger the more you exercise it the more self discipline you have the more you can change your life the habit of people who become millionaires do you do your best to earn as much as you can in your career if you give the right habits time time will come that you will be a millionaire by maintaining a positive mind you will see the many opportunities open for you in 1990s only 5000 americans are millionaires in 2000 there became more than 5 crore americans millionaire there are even multi millionaires and billionaires all of them earned that much wealth on their own they did not inherit the money these millionaires came from different backgrounds some of them are well educated yet there are those who are poor who received a little education some of them are even adopted then there are immigrants who came to america with nothing they have no friends and no special skills they know very little english yet they improved their lives they practiced good habits over and over again until finally they succeeded one good habit you can start is saving expert says that humans are creatures of habit it means we get used to whatever condition we have if you save 1% of your salary every month you will get used to living of the 99% for example if your monthly salary is dollar 2000 discipline yourself to save dollar 20 set it aside right away live only on the dollar 1980 You can open up a saving account or have an envelope where you will keep the dollar eighty, dollar twenty. Forget about your savings. Do not consider it as part of your budget. Do not spend it, no matter what. After a few months, you are probably adjusted to the dollar thousand nine hundred eighteen budget. You can challenge yourself more and save dollar forty this time monthly. Keep on practicing until you can save dollar two hundred monthly. In two years, you will already have more than dollar two thousand four hundred. Savings on your bank account, you will become financially independent. The habits that get you paid more and promoted faster. Henry Ford once said that to be successful in life you need to find out what you are destined to do and then do it. If you love your job you will be paid more and get promoted. It's as simple as that. This is how you will know if your job or career today is the right one for you. Victor Frankl the author of Man's Search for Meaning said that there are four kinds of job the first is the job which is hard to learn and hard to do for example is bookkeeping or accounting if you are uninterested in numbers or making list you will really find it difficult the job is a mismatch for you no matter how hard you try you will not feel fulfillment in it second is the job which is hard to learn but easy to do for example is flying an airplane or programming software it is a difficult skill to learn but if you practice it again and again it will become effortless for you third is the job which is easy to learn but hard to do for example is chopping wood or digging a ditch you need to be physically fit to perform well in those tasks tasks 
The fourth is the job which is easy to learn and easy to do. That is how you know when the job is a perfect for you. Of course, it fits in your natural talents and skills. That is why you find it easy and you give the best results. Each of us is born with unique abilities. You will surely find that activity which you enjoy and excel at. Make that activity your source of living. Brand Tracy has developed a certain habit which led him to earn more and get promoted fast. It is the habit of asking for more responsibility. He used to work for a big company. Brand started in the lowest rank. He is stuck in a tiny cubicle cubicle every day. After several weeks he became restless. Brand went to his manager and asked for more responsibility. He is getting bored and he wanted more challenges in his task. The manager just nodded and smiled at him. He told Brand that he will think about it. Over the next days, Brand asked for more responsibility every time he had a chance. Eventually, the manager told him that there is just something he wants Brand to take care of. Even though it is not part of his job description, Brand worked on it at once. He did not waste time. He did his best and submitted the task as soon as he can. The manager is happy about his performance. Brand asked again for more responsibilities. The manager entrusted more tasks to him. As usual, Brand did it and efficiently as he can. One day, a big project arrived at the manager's desk. He asked Brand if he would like to take charge of it. The truth is that Brand has never handled something like that before, but he gave his best performance anyway. More big projects followed after that. One year after starting the asking for more responsibility habit, Brand got promoted. He had three teams working under him. He got a large office with a beautiful view. His income doubled and then tripled. Brand became the go-to guy in his company. Because of that, he was able to buy a new house and a cool car. All this came from asking for more tasks, doing it well and fast. Habits of top business people. Clarity is one of the best habits you can have in your business. You should be clear about your mission or purpose. What is it you like to achieve? What do you want to give up, give to the customers? How much profit do you want to earn? If you have a clear set of goals then you will make the right decisions to reach them right for example the mission of the company AT&T is to bring telephone service to every americans this was the mission of AT&T for 100 years and the company succeeded on your own business you can set the goal of supplying customers with the best product and service which will yield profit increase of 15% every year you have to be clear about how much you want to gain and when in this way you will not be off track habits of personal effectiveness high income fulfilling job good health loving family leisure time all of this can be yours you don't have to compromise one for another effective people have adapted effective habits which make them perform well in all aspects of their life take for example john who used to be a client of brand brand charity in his advanced coaching and mentoring program He promised John and everyone else that they can double their income while also doubling their time off from work. John personally did not believe that this at first. He thought that it's impossible. How can you double your income by doing less work? 
John worked for a financial company. C is at the office 12 hours daily from Monday to Saturday. C admits that she doesn't spend enough time with her husband and two kids. John felt so stressed. The worst thing is that she feels that there is no way out. When she consulted this to Brian, the first thing he did was to let John make a list. This is the list of all the tasks that John needs to accomplish in a month. She listed 16 tasks in total. Brian asked what is the task that if you did all day will give the biggest contribution to your company. And so John picked up that most valuable task. After that Brian made her pick up important task number 2 and then 3. John highlighted those three tasks on her list. Without looking at them, Brian said that these three tasks is 90% of John's responsibilities. It means that the other 13 tasks or the remaining 10% are actually ir irrelevant. They can be assigned or outsourced to other people. John thought about it and she realized that Brian was right. She talked to her boss and asked for help. Joan explained that if she could focus her time and effort on these three major tasks, then she will be highly effective. Her boss agreed. Because of this, Joan performed better at work. She delivered those three tasks with excellence. After two months, she was able to cut down her work schedule Joan now works at the normal eight hours, daily from Monday to Friday. Indeed, her productivity and income doubled, her time for her husband and kids doubled too. Habits for getting along well with others There are three great habits you can learn to improve all your relationships. The first is the habit of acceptance. This is very important especially to parents, spouse and children. Love them the way they are. Accept their weaknesses. Do not set conditions for them. To feel your love. Just being as they are should be enough. A simple expression of acceptance is a smile. Every time you see a person who is important to you, just smile. This means that you are just happy to see your loved one. The second habit for good relationship is gratitude. Always say thank you. Start each day by appreciating that you are healthy, you have a job, you have food and your family is safe. Be thankful for your spouse for preparing your breakfast. Be thankful for your children for making their homework. And say thank you to anyone who did you a favor. The third habit is giving compliments. You make people happier and more positive by giving compliments. They feel better. There happens a boomerang effect because you send positive energy to other people. You become happy as well. Give compliments on the qualities or appearance of other people. Compliment on their punctuality or their hard work. Compliment on their clothes or car or briefcase. Admire their homes or their children. Of course, compliment with sincerity. If you make this habit, you will see how positive you'd, your days will be. The habits for health and well-being. Do you want to have a slim body? which is free of all diseases. Brian Tracy has a simple advice that is to avoid the three white poisons. They are too much sugar, salt and white flour. John is an office worker from Florida. He is a fan of Brian Tracy. John wrote a letter to Brian one day. He said that he has attended the seminars of Brian and listened to his audio lectures for years. He applied all of Brian's advice and because of that, his life was transformed from rags to riches. John became a top manager in his company and a millionaire after 10 years of hard work. 
However, he wanted to consult one more problem to Bran. John is overweight. He tried all kinds of diet but they just didn't work. And then John heard about the three white questions from Bran Audio's lecture. He studied it and followed the guidelines strictly. In just 3 months, John lost 20 pounds. He became fit and active. His self-esteem got better as well. John bought a whole new wardrobe just by eliminating sugar, salt, and white flour from his diet. Many changes happened in his life. It is better to remove all kinds of proceed food and fast food from your diet. They are high in salt and fat. Avoid soft drinks and too much dessert as well. They are high in sugar. Bread and pastries are made from white flour. As compared to whole grain, white flour almost has no nutrition. Nutrients. The fiber, vitamins and minerals in the wheat is removed in the process, so it's better to choose whole grain. Make vegetables and fruits the major part of your diet. Eat plenty of beans and lentils as well. If you do so, you can prevent many diseases like diabetes, obesity, heart disease and cancer. The habits of character and leadership. How do you want people to remember you? The habit of thinking about your loyalty or obituary can help you develop good character today. You want people to say good things about you when you leave this world and so you need to do good deeds others as much as you can. Alfred Nobel is the founder of the Nobel Prize. A long time ago something happened to him which changed his life. His brother died. The newspaper in Stockholm made a mistake. They put Alfred Nobel's name in the obituary instead of his brother. Many people thought that Alfred has died. He is a chemist and an inventor. He created dy- dynamics in the obituary. Alfred Nobel is remembered as the man who invented gunpowder, which is cause for wars, wars and many deaths all over the world. This mistake became a wake-up call for Alfred. It was as if he has been given a glimpse of his future. He doesn't want to be remembered as an evil person, and so he started to to do many good deeds. That is so that when his time has come, good words will be written is in his obituary. In his successful career, Alfred has gained a lot of wealth. He doesn't have an hire, and so he decided to establish the Nobel Prize. Each year, an awardee will be chosen as champion of peace, literature, or science. The awardee will be given high recognition and prize money. Because of that mistaken identity in the obituary. Alfred Nobel became a better person. His legacy is felt all throughout the world until today. Another good habit is reading biographies of successful people. You will learn how they improved their character and how they became the best in their field. You will be inspired of how they started and eventually became extraordinary. With your habit of reading, you will also change your life. You will observe the values that the successful people have. If you keep on practicing what you learn, time will come that you will become successful just like them. Conclusion: You learned about the power of thoughts. You learned about the importance of habits. You learned about the habits which will make you become a millionaire. Successful people are not only financially wealthy; they are also wealthy in terms of good health, loving relationship, and fulfilling career. In this book, you learned habits to help you improve every aspect of your life. Now it's time that you apply everything you learn. 
It's time to start the millions dollar habit. Practice them and repeat. You may find it difficult at first, but it will be easier once you get used to it. These habits will soon become effortless to you. Remember that each time you practice the habits, the more closer you are to becoming a millionaire. If you rest at the end of the summary, thank you so much for listening this story. Please comment below and tell me what did you like about this story and which line you like most. I will meet you with a next beautiful story. Till then, Tata, take care. Bye bye.